Okay, so you are going to learn how to make um, your bug house in Inventor, Autodesk Inventor. And it is in a program called Autodesk Inventor. And the first thing um, uh, that you need to do is to create a new file. So, um, <clears throat> we're going to make something that looks like this. So, to make a new file, you go up to the top here, um, File, um, and then down to New. Okay, and you will get these kind of different tabs here. You need to make sure that metric is selected so that you can then pick standard MM and create. That means we're working in millimeters. So you can see now I've got here a part one. Okay, and you can see we're automatically in 3D model. Um, <clears throat> we're going to create a new sketch to do something. Uh, we generally create a new sketch. So I'm going to start a new 2D sketch here and click on this one here. Um, and then the first time it does this, it brings up three separate work planes, the X, Y, and Z. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create, uh, click on this one here, and that will bring us from the 3D model mode to 2D kind of sketch mode. And you've got these 2D um, tools that you can now use along here. So the first thing that we want to do is pick this rectangle, two-point rectangle, um, and then I want you to come down to this point down here and click once, and then move your cursor along and you can see how the dimensions will now change. So you're not clicking and dragging, you're clicking, letting go and then moving your cursor. The dimensions that you want to add are um, 65, so tap in 65 and then press the tab button in the top left part of your keyboard. That will bring you to the other dimension which I want you to put in as 9. After you put in 9, press enter. Now you can only see the bottom half of your rectangle. Uh, here. So if you hit this button over on the right hand side, this is called zoom all and it will bring everything into focus here. The next thing I want you to do is whilst this is still highlighted, if it's not, just click it again, I want you to create another rectangle at the bottom which is going to be our halving joint. So you're going to click that um, and bring it along. Now um, <clears throat> it needs to be six millimeters high, so I'm going to change that to six and it's going to come in by four millimeters like that. Okay, so we've got two rectangles, one inside the other. Once you've drawn this at the correct dimensions, I want you to finish your sketch by clicking on this button. As I do that, look how it moves from sketch back to 3D model here. So finish sketch, um, and we've gone back to our 3D model. I'm going to zoom all again so I can see everything. <clears throat> and then I'm going to extrude, that's this button here. Now you need to select which area you want to, to extrude and it's going to be this area here that we extrude. We're going to click on this area here um, and if you can't see this drop down box here uh, you can only see this and it's much better to use this drop down menu. So I want you to click on this drop down menu um, here and I want you to change this from one, from 10, 1, 0 to 105 like that. Click OK and then once again zoom all. Okay, so that is um, our part there. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create um, the area which has a kind of slanted roof on. So we're going to start a 2D sketch. So click on this button, drop down menu, start 2D sketch, and then select this front area here. Okay, that's now gone and put a sketch on that area. Zoom all so you can see the top. And I want you to click on the line tool, come up to the top left hand corner, make sure you get it bang on in that top left corner and then click once. Now I want you to come down moving your cursor so you're not clicking and dragging you're just clicking once and letting go and moving along and you can see how the dimensions change and this time it's the degree that changes. We want to, don't worry about the dimension which is highlighted at the moment, just press tab to bring you up to the degrees and tap in 45. That will now set the degrees to 45 okay and you can only move along this line. So I want you to now move it along until it clicks on the line. Once it does that, go up to the top um, and click on once on the top right hand corner and then move it along and click on the top left hand corner. That's giving you a triangle. You're going to finish that sketch <clears throat> and this time you're going to extrude it once more and select that area. Can you see how it selected it for you? But we don't want it extruded up. We actually want to cut. So you're now going to use the this uh, second button here to press cut. Um, it's already set it to 105 which is fantastic and you're going to click OK. Zoom all to finish that and that is the first part of our video done. 
You can use this square here to kind of have a look at it and see how it, it varies. Um, it's a good idea now to save your file um, so that you um, so that you have it and that it's saved, and then we will move on to part two.